This video is a quick start guide to drawing onto 3D objects using Grease Pencil. And if you like this, then check out my other free beginner's guide to Grease Pencil here on my channel. And if you want to learn the ins and outs of Grease Pencil in detail with easy, simple and fun projects, then check out my new course, only $10 this week with my launch discount. No drawing experience needed, and I'll get you drawing and animating in no time. All the links are in the description. So let's get started drawing in 3D with Grease Pencil. So I'm in a new general startup file, that's file, new, general. Notice I'm not in 2D animation, that's the usual grease pencil workspace. I'm in the general file so I can draw onto 3D objects. I've also got my screencast keys displayed down the bottom here so you can see what I'm pressing. And let's zoom into the middle where we've got our default cube. And we'll use this to draw onto. So in order to add grease pencil to your scene, you need to add a grease pencil object. And you do that in the same way you add any 3D object. So shift A to add and down to grease pencil and we'll choose a blank grease pencil. You can experiment with the stroke of monkey if you like, but we'll start off with a blank. So it may look like nothing's happened, but you can see over to the right hand side in the outliner, the objects in our scene and we've got a grease pencil there and it is selected. If we go to the top left here, you can see it's in object mode. That's why I can't actually draw anything because we can just move around this like it's an ordinary 3D object. So let's go across to draw mode. So click on the object mode button down to draw mode and you can see my brushes appear at the bottom here and I can left click and start drawing. And if I move my 3D viewport, so that's middle mouse button to rotate around, you can see it drew this object in line with where my camera was or perpendicular to where my viewport camera was somewhere around here. If I move around to this side here and then start drawing again, and again, middle mouse button, you can see it's drawing perpendicular to where my viewport was, which was over here. So that's the stroke placement. And we can change that with the option up in the top middle just here. So if I click on this drop down, we've got the stroke placement and it's currently working around the origin of my grease pencil object. And the origin is right in the middle just here. And you can actually see that wherever I have my camera positioned and start drawing, that it's placing that stroke in the middle of my scene, which is the object origin or origin of my grease pencil object. Now, if I click the drop down and choose 3D cursor, it's actually going to do the same thing because my 3D cursor is positioned in the same place as the grease pencil origin. So if I start drawing now, you'll see that it's in line with the origin. I'm just going to undo all these strokes though, and then move the 3D cursor. So shift right click to move my 3D cursor over here and then start drawing again, and you'll see it's perpendicular to the camera, but this time it's positioned where my 3D cursor is. So this is the idea behind the stroke placement. And next to this, you can actually tell Blender which view you want it to be in, but that's for a different day. If I go back to the stroke placement, you'll notice there's a surface option and a stroke option. The stroke option is if I want to choose that and start drawing on my stroke, and you should see it appear on my stroke, which you can see there. The 3D surface option is the one we want because when I choose this, I can now start drawing on my object. And you can see that sticking to my object there. So I'll just undo some of these strokes so it's less messy. And let's choose a different brush, which is a little bit easier to see. So let's choose this one here. Use the wheel of my mouse to zoom in and start painting. So you can see that's painted right on top of my object, but you can see there's a little bit of flicker like this when I come around to certain areas. That's because my stroke is slightly indented into my cube and in different positions, it's struggling to show me the full stroke because it's a bit too indented. Well, if I go up to the surface option, you'll see there's an offset here. And it's a good idea to give your stroke a little bit of offset. So in my situation, I'm going to choose 0 0.01, which is one centimeter, bearing in mind this is a two meter by two meter cube. So that's just enough to give it a little bit of distance and stop that flicker, which you can see there. So that's how we can paint onto our objects. And you've got lots of different brushes you can try out down here. You'll see also up the top middle here, you've got the size of your brush and I can change that with F also. And if you want small increments, you can choose your bracket keys just like Photoshop. And you can see the size of my brush has changed there. The strength is Shift F for short and you can move your mouse side to side to change the strength of your brush. And you can see that's much softer now. So there you have it. That's how you can draw onto 3D objects using Grease Pencil. Do check out my other Grease Pencil videos, links in the description. And remember, my course is on sale for only $10 this week only. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.